Okay, in this video, I want to show you how you can apply a proven, tried and tested framework used in business, marketing, sales, and apply that to enable you to progress your career in controls, automation, and BMS. And this works incredibly well, and you can apply it to progressing your career. Okay, so I want to talk about how you can optimize your CV so you can progress your career in the controls, automation, BMS industry. And this is quite abstract, okay? This is something that can be applied across all walks of life for any endeavor, business, career. It's just a great framework, which I'm gonna share with you. So the framework is known as ADA, okay? And this is a framework that is used in marketing mostly, but it's like a communication framework. And what it stands for is, so A is, let's get rid of that, A is attention. Okay, so that's the first thing. What we need to do, when we're certainly in, when you're thinking about it from trying to get someone to do something, trying to invoke a change in, in behavior, whether that be running an advertisement. In marketing, you know, we, we get someone interested and they then take action and buy something. But also it applies to writing a CV. So we want a recruiter or a hire manager or a business owner, when they look at our CV, we want them to move to the next stage in the hiring process specifically with us. So we want them to take action. We want a behavior to change whereby they reach out to us. They We have an initial conversation. And this is a, a really good framework to apply when writing a CV. And I'm sure no one's ever explained this to you. Um, because it's a new concept and I, I kind of thought up thought of it so um, or at least thought of applying it to to a CV I'm not pretending that I came up with this framework uh, I actually learned this framework from a, a marketing guy called Frank Kern just genius online marketer um, lovely bloke as well very funny um, down to earth not one of these like woo woo gurus or arseholes proper decent genuine person anyway so attention that's the first thing that we need to grab we need to stop someone we need to stop someone from scrolling social media when an ad pops up and it's the same thing we need to cut through the noise of all the other cvs and grab the attention of a hiring manager a recruiter so that is the first thing attention now the second thing once we grab that attention of someone we then need to build an interest so that's what the i stands for so interest and as you can tell i cannot spell very well especially when i'm under pressure okay so now we've grabbed that person's attention we now need to build interest so in an ad we've hooked that person in so for example the ad might be electricians you know that's good enough that's kind of grabbed the attention of electricians if the ad was applying to an electrician so that's got their attention now it's like electricians do you want to double your profits in under six months that's that's kind of building some interest there then like if that's the next line it's like oh that sounds good i'm i'm interested that's that's piqued my interest i'm gonna continue reading further in the same way a cv needs to start piquing that recruiter's interest like talking specifically to what interests that recruiter and for the role that they're recruiting for or hiring hire manager or business owner so they're like oh this i'm interested in this person this person might have something that is of value to me and can offer our business so that's the next thing we build we build interest the third thing once we've built enough interest that person's still there is desire so now at this stage, and these kind of work hand in hand, interest and desire, once we've sparked that initial interest, you know, that we are a person or we are a business that can, can help that specific person after we grab the attention, we then need to start dialing in that desire. We need to start increasing that desire by hitting on points that, have, that are, you know, of, of interest to that specific person, whether we're running an ad to them or, you know, we're advertising ourselves in the form of a CV. So what do recruiters desire? What do hiring managers desire? What do business owners desire? And it's tapping into that. 
and demonstrating that within a CV. And then the final thing, once we've once we've grabbed the attention, once we've hooked them in with an interest, like they're interested, they're like they've they've stopped, they're actually reading it, and we've dialed in enough desire. We've we've just talked to various pain points, or we've talked to specific de desires that this avatar or this person wants or has. We then want them to take action. So this is the final thing. And this one's pretty simple. All that is, is it's, it's known in the marketing world as a, as a CTA. So uh, a call to action. Okay, so that might be in terms of a CV, but it might, it's, it's pretty obvious if someone's looking at your CV, you know, if they want to speak to you, they will, well, hopefully at the top of your CV, like, top of your CV, you've got like your contact information up here, which will have your email and have your phone number. So if you've done this correctly, if you've done this correctly here, like, and you've, you've dialed in the desire high enough, then they're naturally going to want to take action because it's in their interest to take action and reach out to you and, you know, have a conversation. In terms of like an, an ad, if you see an ad, it will be like, well, click this button here or respond with, you know, X or call this number. You know, you, you've all seen what an ad looks like. That's how I recommend people should sort of think about writing a CV in the same way that marketers write ad copy or write any type of persuasive action oriented outcome copy or communication whether it's on a website because this is the same thing that applies to websites as well whether it's in like a, a radio broadcast advertisement you can just apply this framework in anything so how might that look in a in a cv so let's draw so this is like a I'll tell you what let's not actually draw a cv what you want to do is you've got so we're using this framework but we've got to also sort of stay logical to what makes sense on a cv you know we're not just <laughs> we're not just gonna like pull out recruiters or hiring managers or business owners like at the, at the top of your cv like recruiters if you want me to be the best candidate for roles that you're recruiting for like that's a very bad example but hopefully you get my point you're obviously not going to put that on a cv so this is how i would apply that to a to a cv and it's it's well you'll see so contact information at the top so contact info at the top and that will be when they do want to take action you know they've got your number blah blah blah, blah, blah and they've got your your email okay so they can take action by by that bit up there so that's kind of the, the first section. Okay, and then and then what we want to do, this is where we this next section is where we're gonna grab that attention. What we want to do is we want to kind of write a professional bio, not too long, enough to just grab their attention. So thinking about what what is going to grab that recruiter, hiring managers, business owners' attention? Yeah, without going into so much detail, but you know, what's going to grab their attention? And they're looking for someone to fulfill a role, right? Think about it from that perspective. They're looking for someone to fulfill a role. What sort of role are they recruiting for? What type of person do they want? And that's where you can initially grab that attention. It builds that interest. Like the attention then merges into interest, and then that interest builds into desire. So, sort of a personal or bio would be like the top thing and you don't want it to be too long at all um, but just enough to sort of get their interest okay so that's kind of the next thing um, and what I'm going to do here just so it's clear so this is going to be like your uh, so that can be like your action bit it's obviously not going to be like a perfect sort of AIDA it's kind of flipped but so yeah, action, or when they take action, they're coming back up to the top, but as they make their way through, it's gonna to get to a point where by the time they've got to the bottom of your CV, it's get then going to invoke a behavior change and then to take action. So it kind of still does go in this order. I'm, I'm overly, I'm overcomplicating things. So let's get back to it and I'll stop 
jumping around. So the next thing, contact information, personal bio. So we're, we're building this interest here. And then we want to start dialing in that interest to a point where it starts building into desire. So this next section, this is like, I would recommend putting like your key, key skills, like your skills here. Okay. And this, this can literally just be like one line specifically in the different types of skills that you have that are going to be of interest and a desire for that recruiter, that hiring manager in the role that they're recruiting for. So that is, so this is this is still, as you can see, I'm a bit all over the place, but please forgive me. This is really attention. So let's get, let's, let's write that. So this is like the attention stage. Okay. We've got that personal bio. We've got the skills. And now we can start like dialing in that interest. So we've got their attention. Now, this is where we then start moving into previous experience, whether that be experience learned on the job through time served or experience through other methods, education, training, that kind of thing. So the experience, so time served and other methods. Let's just put other methods of learning. And this is where we we are, yeah, we're we're getting them interested now. Like they can see that we've got relevant experience, relevant understanding, relevant skills, knowledge that apply for what they for the what they want. So this is this is now building that interest. I'm gonna run out of space. And then within this section, we are then dialing it in, dialing in the desire by talking about specific things that we have done throughout our time at these different previous places or through the skills and knowledge that we've acquired. But what have we actually done? So we can use things like action oriented verbs that with quantifiable numbers. So what I mean by that is like, I have done X in Y time frames that's generated Z result. You know, that that's the kind of thing that really builds that desire. Things that have actually happened, results. Because ultimately, that's what people care about. They care about results. They care about outcomes. You know, just if you were buying something, you want the result of what that thing gives you, whatever that result is or that outcome that, that thing gives you. And it's the same way with a recruiter or a hire manager or a business owner. They, the result they want is for that role to be fulfilled and that person to do that work. I mean, it's pretty, pretty obvious and self-explanatory. So it's the same thing. That's where the desire, so the desire is also in here. Okay. And then the final icing on the cake really is if you do have like qualifications, you know, formal education, that kind of thing, then that's kind of like the last, the last thing. So uh, certificates. So that should kind of just be like the final bit of icing on the cake to basically ensure that they do now want to take action which is then going to feed up to where they actually take action. And that will go obviously back up to here where they can take action and contact you. So that's kind of how I look at writing a CV that's actually going to get people interested in you as an individual. Apply tried and tested marketing frameworks and communicating communication frameworks to other aspects of business and career and, and life because this stuff works. That's why people use it. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you on the next one.